Hello everybody, this is uh, an IEG standard 3, a node typewriter. IEG had been working at this uh, standard typewriter since uh, 1911 and in fact uh, it was ready for the market in uh, 1914, but uh, its uh, appearance was uh, interrupted by the First World War. It came out uh, on the market uh, on the 1921. For sure they had uh, many time to test it. It has a very low serial number, the 158. According to the typewriter database, serial numbers from 1300 to 4900 should be of 1921. Since the serial number is 158, this typewriter could date before the First World War or shortly after. Its conditions are quite perfect. Also the casing is shining. IG before the First World War was already producing the famous Mignon typewriter with a pointer. It's a very particular typewriter. You choose the letter on this plate and you type it. In 1921 they started selling also this standard 3 typewriter. Then from 1925 they started to produce also this model, the standard 6, very similar to the model 3. The fourth thing you notice is the typewriter is very heavy and it has a robust mechanism everywhere, so you know it's a German typewriter. After 100 years it's still working, nobody can stop it. It has 42 buttons, tabulators, up passing selector. It's a quite complete typewriter. In the keyboard there is a German layout. This is the shift for majuscules. And this is the blocking mechanism. This is the color selector. This is the margin bypass. I love this typing character. I think it's a typing character of the mark, the German currency at those times. Here on the left there is a half spacing selector. You see, you can change the spacing between two letters. It can be useful in writing. Here on the back there is a tabulator. You place the stops of the tabulator placing the sliders on this bar. Then this button is the tabulator. Here you manage the ribbon. With this little crank you advance the ribbon. And with the lever you reverse the direction of the ribbon. On the left there is the interline. And the interline selector. This is the ratchet release, you see. On the right with this lever you move the carriage. This is the pressing bar for the paper. With this lever you adjust the paper sheet. That's all. If you want to see its sister, the IG6, of the IG Mignon, you can see this video. Have a nice day.